Hi, this is John Carney, Product Engineer at Cadence, and this video is going to show you how to translate your Altium schematics into Orcadex Capture schematics. Under the File menu, under Import, you're going to find the Altium Schematic Translator. This form opens up, and the first thing you want to select is your project PCB file. This is the top-level Altium project file, and you'll browse to the folder that contains that project file. It's very important to note that this data from Altium needs to be saved as Altium ASCII format. It can't read the Altium binaries, you need to save it off as an Altium ASCII file. If you need to know how to do that, from this form here, you can click the help button and it will open up a small PDF document that walks you through how to do the save as into Altium ASCII from the Altium design tools. Then you can specify an output directory. I typically recommend putting this into a new, clean, empty directory. You have some options for the page size that comes over when you do the translation and how you want to optimize the libraries that come over after the translation. Once you have that set up, just hit the translate button. The translation should run very quickly, probably in less than a minute. Once you're done, under the file menu, you're going to do open project and open the resulting Orcadex capture project file that is in the new directory. And that's it. Then you have your translated project. You can go through and you can open up the pages and investigate the pages to ensure everything looks good with the translation. If you find an issue, please let us at Cadence know. If you've also translated your Altium PCB associated with this project to Orcadex layout or Allegro, I would recommend you then update the layout from this schematic. In other words, you translated the schematic, you translated the layout, now you want to reconnect the schematic and the layout to make sure the two are still 100% in sync. In addition to translating the design, you may be interested in migrating your entire database over to Cadence. Once you run this translation in this project manager over here, you're also going to have a, under the design file, if you scroll down, you'll have a design cache. This contains one instance of every schematic symbol used in this design. So if you want to start building up an Orcad X library to support for future designs in Orcad X, you can use these parts out of the design cache. To do that, you can create a new library file and then you can select all the parts in the design cache, copy them, and then paste them into the library file. Now you have a library on disk that you can save as, and you can use this as a foundation for a starting point for your new company libraries in Cadence format. You're also going to want to consider getting all of the part properties into a library, such as the manufacturer, manufacturer part number, cost, tolerance, wattage, voltage, information like that. To do that, you can select the top level design file, click your right mouse button and do edit object properties. This is then going to open the property editor on the entire design. Make sure you have the parts tab selected. Then you can select this top corner cell up here to select everything and then do a control C to copy. Go over to Microsoft Excel, select one of the columns, do a control V to paste. You now have all the attributes from your design in a spreadsheet which you can then start to use to build up an Orcad X CIS database or punch into the Orcad X cloud. As a final note, this design file was created and designed by Robert Ferranic at Fedevil. If you haven't had a chance, I definitely recommend checking out his website. He has a lot of great tutorials and training.